Okay, uh, this is a schematic diagram of PC196 from Uneden. You can see here, um, this is uh, from uh, Realistic TRC449, the older President Grant, Cobra 138X All Air, and Stalk 101, and thousands of others. And the problems uh, on these uh, transceivers are on this part here. Here we have the first input stage of the receiver. This is the RF gain here, RF gain port. And here is L4, the coil or transformer. And this is a second receive stage with an FET field effect transistor. And inputs of field effect transistors are high and we can see the output of L4 here is low. And this is the fault here. This circuit is not really matched. And the loss of signals here. And the solution is very simple. We will change this soldering point from the low impedance output to high impedance output. Okay. And this is the main PCB board top view part side here. And this is L4. And we must change here this point to here and cut track. And then we get a higher impedance output to the FET input. Okay. And on the part side here we can see L4 and FET1 here, this is second receive stage with a mixer and here is the first stage and then we must change the solder point from here to here. Okay and here view on the soldering side here, PCP main board, this is L4 here and now we must change the low impedance put from here to here and we cut the track here and make a bridge from here to here. Now this is the soldering side here of the UPD858 print here. This here is the output of the coil L4. This is the ground and we can see this is the low impedance output and here unsoldered this is the high impedance output. And now we should cut here the track to the low impedance and make a bridge from this soldering point here to the new soldering point of the high impedance output of L4. Okay, uh, we are back here. Uh, this is a President Adams, very nice transceiver UPD858 case here and we are on channel 20, 20 and the level is about 50 microvolts into 50 ohm and on the ARRL chart uh, this is a S9 you can see here on the chart uh, S9 here uh, S9 is 50 microvolts into 50 ohms and now we will look how is the level here without modification of L4 okay uh, we'll take the camera here and we can see uh, it's uh, S9 here and 
and we go to 25 microvolts is about S8 and a little bit stronger and we go back to 13 microvolts and this is S7 and the needle shows me S8 we go back to 6.3 microvolt the needle is showing me S6 and on the chart is it um, S6 yes and we go back to 3 0.2 microvolts 3.2 microvolts here on the chart is S5 here and we can see the S meter shows me S2 and now we can find the problem sensitivity is very low here and now we go back to S4 on the chart S4 is 1.6 microvolts, 1.6 microvolts, and the needle goes down to S about S0.5. And yes, uh, S3 is 0 0.79, and we go to S3. 0 0.79 microvolts, and we have no read out here and the signal is very weak because the sensitivity is down okay and now we will make the modification l4 for higher impedance and for a better matching from the first uh, receiving stage to the second receiving and mixer stage here on the president atoms okay now we cut the track with a cutter cut the track with a cutter okay and we will resolder a new track here with this small bridge from here, this is the new point, to here. Okay, the modification is done. You can see here, the new bridge here from the high output point of the L4 to the FET input. Okay, we are back here, after modification. Uh, this is a level of 3.2 microvolts into 50 ohms here and on the ARRL page um, shows me S5 here on the chart 3.2 microvolts S5 and on the president atoms here shows me S uh, between S1 and 3 here, okay, about S2, and now I will retune the L4 here. At first, and you show here. You can see the level is increased higher and higher and higher and we get more and more dBs here out from the first stage. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, this is the height. And now we retune L5. We go back to 1.6 microvolts uh, on the generator here. 1.6 microvolts. And now we will retune L5. 
Okay, L5 is okay tuned. Uh, Roger. Okay, now the S meter shows me S6. Um, with a output there is a transmit output level here. Test equipment output level of about 1.6 microvolts and 1.6 microvolts is about S4. And now I will go to 50 microvolts. Now the S meter shows me about 30 dB over 9. Okay, I'm back here. The S needle is showing me 30 dB over 9. The level is 50 microvolts into 50 ohm is S9 on the ARRL uh, level page level chart here and now we'll reset the S meter to S9 by VR1 here this is VR1 VR1 here you can see this VR1 and this to reset the S needle to S9 Okay, we will start. <coughs> okay, now turn here on the VR1 here. And okay, yes, very nice. Very nice. Okay, and then we are ready for the new level test between S. 1 and S9. This is about 50 microvolts and now we go to 25 microvolts. This is S8, that's Roger. And to 13 microvolts, S7. Exactly S7. 6.3 microvolts. Microvolts S6 a little bit more and 3.2 microvolts is about S5 on the chart and here we have between 5 and 6 and now we go to 1.6 microvolts S4 showing me about S5 the needle and now we go to S3 0 0.79 microvolts and the needle is on S3 it's a very uh, correct here and now we go to S2 0 0.4 microvolts yes the meter, the needle is showing me about S1 and 2. And now we look the signal of S1 here on the needle. 0 0.2 microvolts. Yes. And the needle shows me about S0 0.5. I will switch off the needle on the SWR selector here okay this is S meter off S meter on you can see move a little bit between 0 and 0 0.5 yes the modification is done and I'm very happy here Thank you very much and good luck.